256 The Life of Love Presence of God, grant, O Lord, that even while I am here on earth, I may love you, as I shall love you in heaven. Meditation 1. If it may be said that by faith eternal life begins in us, St. Thomas, EEA2, Q.4, A.1, Co., the same may be said, and with greater reason of charity, which will remain unchanged even in heaven. Eternal life will be essentially a life of love, of love which has reached its greatest height, for when we know God perfectly by the beatific vision, we shall finally be able to fulfill with absolute perfection the precept of loving God, with all our strength. On this earth such perfection is possible only relatively, nevertheless, even now we possess the same charity with which we shall love God in heaven. Therefore, we can begin even now that life of love which will flower completely in eternity. Our love in heaven will have the characteristics of completeness and absolute continuity with the impossibility of its ever failing. We cannot attain this while we are on earth, but we can strive for it by the exercise of a pure, intense love, love that is, as far as possible, always in action. These, then, are the qualities our love for God should have purity, intensity, continuity. Our love for God will be pure when we love Him so much that we seek only His glory, and the accomplishment of His will hallowed be Thy name. By will be done MD6, 9.10, this is the only real good that we, poor creatures, can wish for our God. All the glory we can possibly give him consists in saying a wholehearted yes to his holy will, in rivaling the angels, and blessed in heaven by carrying out his will here on earth with such great love and completeness thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven nigh be idy. The purity of our love should consist in seeking God's glory alone, His will alone, completely forgetting ourself, in being ready to sacrifice every wish, desire, and interest for Him. Therefore, even in the spiritual life, our first thought should be, not our own perfection, progress, and consolation, but always God's delight, good pleasure, and glory. It is thus that we will serve our own interests better, for he, who gives himself to God, completely forgetting himself, draws down upon himself the fullness of divine love. What greater good could come to us than being loved by infinite love? 2. But then it is necessary that our love for God be intense and vigorous, because in this way the inclination of our will toward Him will always grow stronger. Amor meus pondus meum, St. Augustine says, Love is the weight which draws me, which draws my entire being, all my will, all my life, into God. And it is necessary that this weight increase, so, as to draw us into God with an ever-increasing speed. St. John of the Cross says that one degree of love is sufficient for a soul to be in its center, which is God, but the more degress of love it has, the deeper it goes into its center, and hence, the strongest love is the most unitive love LF1, 13. Love becomes stronger, and increases by exercise, provided the exercise is generous and intense, making use of all the powers of the soul. When we perform our actions, not carelessly, or negligently, but with our whole heart, that is, with all the good will of which we are capable, our love immediately increases, and with every act there is a corresponding growth in charity. 
In this way our love will always continue to grow, it will become strong and mature, and will be able to draw us wholly into God. Let us try, then, to make as many acts of love as possible during the course of our days so that we will be able to live as far as is attainable in this life in continual, actual love. But there is one time in the day which is especially intended to make us more fervent in charity, and this is the time of prayer, prayer understood as an intimate encounter of our soul with God by love, as an intercourse of friendship between God and us it is especially then that we must endeavor to recollect ourself. We should renew the resolution of our will, to give ourself entirely to God, to seek His will always, and to fulfill His good pleasure above everything else. We should pray to find God, to remain near Him as friend with friend. Let us ask Him humbly, but with gentle insistence, to teach us how to love him, as we will love him one day in heaven. Just as human friendship is strengthened by the frequent meeting of friends, so divine friendship charity is strengthened in the same way. Charity grows stronger in prayer, which is the friendly, loving meeting of the soul with God. Colloquy O oh Lord, you teach me that without love even the most perfect gifts are as nothing, that charity is the most excellent way, for it leads directly to you. That is why I wish for no science, but the science of love, and having given all the substance of my house for love, I count it as nothing. I understand so clearly that love alone can make me pleasing in your sight, that my sole ambition is to acquire it. My occupation is to gather flowers, the flowers of love and sacrifice, and to offer them to you, my God, to give you pleasure. I wish to labor for your love alone with the sole aim of pleasing you, of consoling your sacred heart, and of saving souls, who will love you through eternity TCJSD. 13 Act of Oblation O God, my love for you ought to be total, infinite in desire, because you will not give yourself entirely to a soul unless it gives itself wholly to you. I must not cling to any attachment, nor admit even a single voluntary imperfection, nor refuse you anything. Grant that I may give myself to you, in a continual, uninterrupted donation, moment by moment, seeking in all things your greater glory, always trying to please you, always wanting your will alone, doing each action with all my heart, and with all my love. My love for you must be delicate. Help me to reach that exquisiteness and delicacy that regard for details which you appreciate so much, which delights you. My love for you should be strong and generous, and prove itself in sacrifice, in seeking sacrifice, in the offering, and the smiling acceptance of suffering. O oh God, for love of you, I want to take advantage of the little opportunities, so that, I may be strong in the big ones, S.R. Carmela, of the Holy Spirit, O.C.D.